A precision medicine in Singapore is set to get a boost. The health ministry is setting up a task force to develop this field. This is so more patients can receive treatment tailored to their genes. The task force will tackle issues including ethics, accessibility and affordability. Health Minister Ong Yi Kang made this announcement at the opening of the country's largest cell therapy facility at the National Cancer Centre. On the move are some cell materials that could save some lives. These are key ingredients for the Advanced Cell Therapy and Research Institute Singapore, or ACT3 is for short. It's where scientists use them to create personalized therapies for some cancer patients. And one such treatment is the chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy. The CAR T cell therapy actually starts by taking out the white blood cells from the patient's blood. This blood product is then sent to our manufacturing facility, Actress, whereby we then select out the T cells. We then genetically modify these T cells such that they are personalised and can actually target the cancer cells specifically to kill the cancer cells and help these patients who have relapsed several times. This new facility spans over 2,000 square metres. It aims to half the manufacturing time for cell and gene therapies or CGT. It will also support hospital services and research. These are part of Singapore's efforts to develop the precision medicine sector. But precision medicine is not for everyone. Some patients may not need it. Some may not afford it. In the US, one-time treatment could cost more than half a million dollars. We will need an appropriate financing framework that is both sustainable and also to prevent a schism between those who can afford precision medicine and those who cannot. Given the nature of CGT, relatively infrequent in deployment and high costs, the solution will likely lie in strengthening national health care insurance. Mr Ong says it's possible that the cost of CGT could come down in the future and it starts by building capabilities through places like Actrius. So having Actrius brings together the smaller facilities that have been currently been operating under a single roof and so we can start to produce these products at scale, at high quality and uh, hopefully a bit more efficiently and so at lower cost for our patients. On top of cancer therapies, Actrius could be used to produce regenerative medicine in future. This could heal or replace tissue that have been damaged by aging. A health and social policy observer believes it could be risky for the government to allow the use of national health care insurance to finance new therapies. Dr. Pua Kai Hong of the Institute of Policy Studies says the cost effectiveness of such drugs remains to be assessed. The Singapore system was something that was held up as the model, so we shouldn't go backwards. You know? we, it's good to be in the cutting edge, but we have a very good financing system. But as a society, we cannot justify using hard-earned tax money you know, and public money to pay for anything, unless you have the evidence. So my contention is that if we are going to use insurance to cover this, the authorities have to make sure it is cost-effective and you have the evidence for it. 